Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Outdoor Addictions. My name is Bruce Gray. I am a real estate broker and co-host of uh, Outdoor Addictions. My cohort, Mr. Keith Kavix, is not here today. Keith is on vacation. He's somewhere on the beach in Florida, I believe. And I uh, hope Keith and his family is having a good time. He's probably fishing, catching some scallops, whatever he, whatever his heart desires, I'm sure he'll have a good time. So, Keith, if you're listening, we hope you're having a good week and come on back home safely. And we want to hope everybody's doing well today. It's just, uh, it's just me here today. It's a little bit unusual. I'm, that's the first time that we've ever recorded a podcast with just one person. But wanted to go ahead and do this and tell you a little bit uh, uh, about real estate. We're going to talk a little bit about real estate. We've talked about real estate in the past. Of course, Outdoor Addictions is a podcast. We talk about everything outdoor and real estate related. And so today is no different. Uh, we're going to talk about the advantages, of course, of listing your property with a uh, real estate company uh, that's reputable, that understands uh, what it means to help you sell your farm, hunting property, a home, whether it's in town or in the country, if it's a house that's on acreage, uh, if it fronts a river. Uh, you think about it, there's all types of properties scattered all over our area. Uh, different property types, different lifestyle properties. And so if you're thinking about selling, making a decision to sell your properties is a big one. You know, it's something that we need all, that we all need to understand that selling your home or land uh, is very important because it's likely your biggest investment. I know the few times I have bought and sold homes and tracts of land, it's a, uh, it's a big deal to go out and get a loan and to, uh, agree to pay it off in a 30 year mortgage or whatever. And uh, you're, you know, it's a big commitment, it's a lot of money. And so our job as realtors is very important because we handle your biggest financial transactions that you'll likely ever make. And we understand that, we respect that, and we're glad to help. So making a decision to sell your property is a, is a big one. And we just wanna go over this morning a little bit about you know, what to look for when you wanna list your property with a company. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And then a little bit later, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about each one of our agents. Uh, some of our agents have been on the show. Uh, most have not. Hopefully, in, in the future, they will all be able to be on the show, be a guest on our podcast. So we'll talk a little bit about them a little bit later. The first thing is to uh, choose a real estate company uh, and an agent uh, who has knowledge and experience. You know, that's a no-brainer. Obviously, you want someone who has knowledge and has years of experience. But, you know, it's possible for a company uh, to be in, to have a, an office and to have a real estate company and really have very little experience. It's very possible for that to happen. Um, but you want to look for someone who, who is very knowledgeable and who has several years of experience. Look for a company that has years of good reputation. That's really what you want. Someone that, that people in the community respect, they, um, and, and, and that they trust. That's a big one as well. A company who specializes in all types of property types. Uh, that's important. It's also important for someone who, who sees value in that. And there are a lot of real estate companies that just advertise whatever comes their way. And uh, we know we're a little bit different in the sense that we specialize in rural property. We also sell homes in town. I mean, obviously you do that. We live here in a small town. We're surrounded by small towns. And so a, a large bulk of our listings are just homes in town. It sits on a small lot, uh, but it's still in rural, if you think about it, little small towns scattered around Mississippi and Louisiana is still considered as rural lifestyle, even though it's in town. Uh, so look for a company who specializes in all types of property types. You know, what are some property types? Uh, riverfront property. There are buyers who just want to live on a river, or they want to own land that has river frontage. Or maybe it's someone who wants to invest in timber. Uh, 
Maybe it's just an individual, that's all they want to do. They want to have a tree farm. I talked to somebody earlier this week that that was her goal, was to buy a piece of ground and uh, become a certified tree farmer. Um, some, someone who understands the unique challenges that come with selling rural property. Because there are some challenges that come up. Um, you know, flood zones. Uh, you know, a lot of that comes with experience, obviously. A good agent will, will know the area and will understand you know, what it takes to, to list and sell these rural properties. Uh, and flood zones is just one example. But also, you know, you tend to, over time, you, you learn who the neighbor is. Uh, a lot of people ask, you know, what's the neighbor like? Well, most neighbors are really good folks. But there you every now and then you're running into somebody who's a knucklehead and will probably be a problem down the road. But luckily that doesn't happen very often. And then choose a company that knows how to market uh, to, to a unique set of buyers. And that is really important. What I love about real estate, and I'll tell you a quick story. Years ago, I was asked by a professor in college. He said, you know, what is your passion? And no one had ever asked me that before. And I said, well, sir, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, what do you like to do? when no one else is around? What do you like to do when you're off work, when you're out of school? What do you like to do? Well, what I like to do is to hunt and fish and hike and camp and spend time outdoors. And I told him that. I said, my, my passion is the outdoors. And he said, well, look for a job where you can use that passion. And ultimately, that's what led me to becoming a realtor because I get to work outside. I get to do what I love to do, which is spend time outdoors. And so my whole point is, as a realtor, I get it. I understand that there are other buyers out there who want to buy a lifestyle property, that that is their passion as well. That's what they like. They like to spend time outdoors. And so it's important to work with a company who gets that, who understands it, who understands that when you sell a unique type of property, whether it's a big hunting track, or whether it's um, a place that's got a, a lake or two on it for fishing. We understand that there are buyers out there who are looking for that because we, at one point in our life, were looking for that as well. So we connect, which is very important. Another thing you wanna look for when you uh, contact a real estate company to list your property is someone who knows the local market. And look, this is very important. Local market is a big deal. And when we say local market, it, it, it can change depending on like, for instance, our office is right here located in Brookhaven, Mississippi. And Brookhaven has its own little market. Now, if you leave Brookhaven and travel to Macomb, which is further south, it's a different market. It's similar, but it can be very different. The same is true if you travel east toward Prentice or west toward Natchez. The market can shift and the pricing of properties can shift. So it's important to work with an agent who knows the local market. Uh, they know what the property values are. We have people all the time who stop us at Walmart or a church or wherever and say, hey, I'm thinking about selling my track out here at, out here, out here at Bogachitta, just outside of town. What's land selling for in Bogachitta? Well, we can't give them an exact number, but we can give them a roundabout figure based upon our experience dealing with other closings that have taken place. So maybe the average price is, say, 2,500 an acre or 3,500 an acre, wherever it may be. And it can vary from spot to spot. We also know what buyers are looking for. You know, what, what, what do buyers want today? And that changes over time. For instance, like today, these bigger tracks just aren't selling as well. Any, anything over 700000 is starting to move slowly these days. And it has a lot to do with interest rates and the economy, uh, although the economy is not as bad as the news would portray. But overall, the bigger tracks are a little bit harder to sell. That's not to say they won't sell, but it's a little bit harder to sell. But what does sell well is these smaller tracks. And so, you know, let's say two to five acres, Two to five acres here in Southwest Mississippi is very hard to find, especially two to five acres with no restrictions. Someone wants to put a mobile home, they want to put a travel trailer, they want to park an RV, they want to be in a place where they're close to the National Forest, 
so they can drive out and hunt that area. But they wanna buy two to five acres with no restrictions. And your first instinct is, well, yeah, there's several properties like that for sale. Until you start searching and you realize there's really not. There's only just a small handful. I would say in most cases, less than five or six on any given day. That's not very many properties out there for sale. So we know what's selling. And so it's important to work with a company who understands that, who keeps up with the local market trends. Um, can, that, can that agent, can that company connect with buyers? And it goes back to what I said earlier about our passion in life is the outdoors. And that's what we specialize in is selling outdoor rural property. So we take pride in the fact that we connect with the people who understand that, who get that, and that's what they're looking for. Find buyers who appreciate the country lifestyle, just like you do. So you as a seller, if you're owning a family farm that you've owned for several years, maybe it's been in your family for a couple of generations, and selling that family farm can be very emotional. I've been there myself, done it more than once, where I sold part of our family farm. And you get, a, I don't know about you guys listening today, but I get connected to land. My wife kind of gets a little bit upset with me sometimes because she looks at it like an old girlfriend or something. You know, he's so connected to land, he drives by it, he kind of slows down and looks out there and admires it. But the truth is, I get connected to land, and you probably do too. And so when you get ready to sell your family farm or this place that you've had for quite some time, and you put so much work into it, you've gone out there and you've planted food plots and you've managed the timber and you've created these road roads throughout the property. You've put up deer stands, and feeders, and cameras, and you've spent a many an hour and you've spent a many a dollar on that place. And you're really, you're connected with it. If you're like me, you know every little hill and hollow on that, on that spot. And so when you get ready to sell it, it can be a very emotional sale. And so it's important that we find a buyer who appreciates what you've done. It makes a difference. It makes a difference to you, the seller, to know that the next person who buys this is just simply gonna take it and then go to the next level with it. They're gonna just improve it even more, but they're gonna take what you've done and build upon it. And of course, they don't have to. People, it's their property. They can do whatever the heck they wanna do. But it's important to know that um, there are buyers out there who appreciate what you've done and, and, and want to live that same type of lifestyle on the property they buy from you. That's a big deal. The third thing you wanna look for is uh, extensive marketing reach. This is a big one, y'all. And this is where United Country, our franchise, uh, we are United Country McDaniel Ware Realty. This is where it comes into play. Uh, because we can reach out to so many potential buyers across, you know, not just locally, but really to people who live all over the world. And that is a big deal. And you want to you want to list your property with a company who can really reach out and do some extensive marketing to tons of buyers and, you know, think outside the box because there are buyers who live in these big metropolitan city areas who want to move to rural America. And our job as realtors is to get it in front of them. That's important. So when we start talking about target marketing, let's, let's think about the types of buyers that are out there. There are some buyers who are only interested, in example, they're only interested in, in historic properties. You list a historic house. Now, what is historic? Well, we identify historic as being anything that's 50 years old or older. So if you think about that, think about how many homes are scattered around your town, around your community, that are at least 50 years old. Shoot, there are several that's 100 years old or more. And so historic properties is a big deal. To us, it may look like just an old rundown farmhouse, but to a buyer in Kansas City, Missouri, it's just what they've been looking for because they're into restoring old homes. Or maybe they wanna buy it and they wanna move it to another site, which is the big trend these days. A lot of people are buying their own track of land and it may not have a house on it like they want. So they'll go buy a historic house elsewhere. Maybe it's 50, 40, you know, 40 to 60 miles away and they'll have it moved to their property. And then they have, they have the best of both worlds. They have that track of land and they have that historic house. 
So his, historic properties are a big deal, not only for the age, but if you, you'd be surprised at the number of properties out there where something historic has happened on it, whether it's an old Indian trail, whether it's an old campsite that you can verify where Indians lived at one point, it's a variety of things. We are blessed to have several different historic happenings that have happened many years ago on, on properties and, and in communities. And so maybe it's not even, maybe your property's not, you know, nothing significant has happened on your property, but 10 miles down the road, something did. So you can advertise the fact that your property is near an historic site, which is a big deal. Timber. Timber is another one. And again, the, earlier this week, we talked to someone who wants to establish a tree farm. That's their goal. They want to. They only want to buy a property uh, to invest in timber. And so they're going to look in those. They're going to look for properties that that have a great stand. Maybe it's a great stand of eight to ten year old plantation pine. Uh, in other words, the work's been done. The, the place has been planted in pine a few years ago. Got a great stand of timber. And that's what they want. Or they want something that's more mature. Or they want a clean slate. They want a piece of cutover where they can go in and manage the, the timber like, like they want from the beginning. So timber property is a big one. Hunting property, obviously. Look, that is recreational property in general, not just hunting property, but fishing. People want to buy tracts of land to ride ATVs. They want a place to ride a horse. Uh, and they want a place to hunt. And we are blessed to have so many places like that throughout Mississippi and Louisiana. So hunting is a big deal. But again, we're targeting buyers who live in metropolitan cities who want to move to this area. Or maybe they don't want to move. Maybe they're already established where they are. They just want a place to go on the weekends. And they're not restricted to just an hour away. I mean, nowadays, it's nothing to get in your car and drive six hours, six plus hours. How many people do that? I've done that before, get in my truck and drive to Missouri to go deer hunting. It's only like a six, seven hour drive from South Mississippi. So you can, in six or seven hours, you can cover some ground and be in a completely different state. We'll shoot several states down the road. So we're not restricted to just an hour down the road. It can be several hours. And that's what's popular these days. And then the last type of property, of course, is a farm or a ranch, any type of farm. People love that. They want to get back to the basics. And you'd be surprised at the number of people who are, uh, you know, they love, they love the city life. They enjoy it. And they like the idea of going back and going to plays and going out to dinner and visiting with family and friends. But they also love the fact that they can sit on their front porch and hear the birds sing watch the turkeys come out in the field behind their house. Uh, that's what's attracting people. Digital marketing is a great way to reach out to folks. It's important for a real estate company to advertise your property in several different ways. And digital marketing is the newest way out there. Uh, you want to get in front of as many people as you can. Social media, obviously that goes without saying, Social media is very important. You have to be visible on social media to be seen as relevant, but you can connect with a lot of people through social media. And what I love about it is it can just magnify. It can just, it's like a snowball, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, reaches more and more people. YouTube has come on, man, it's really great. Our office has a YouTube channel. You'd be surprised at the number of people who watch these videos that we put up on these small tracts of land or even a big tract. And yet people from, I don't know who they are, they're from folks all over, literally thousands of people watch our videos. That's good. I even sold a property once from a gentleman. He and his wife saw the video on YouTube and called me about it and eventually came and bought it and just fell in love with it, sitting in their living room watching the video on YouTube. And of course, traditional advertising. That still works. Direct mail still works. So there are companies out there who specialize in that, and that's what we do as well. Um, there is nothing wrong with just sending a good old fashioned hand addressed stamped letter in your good old traditional envelope and send it to people who rarely get personal mail anymore. I mean, that's a lost art. People don't write letters anymore. 
And so it is valuable to send a letter to a landowner and say, look, my name is Bruce Gray and I'm a real estate agent right here in your backyard and I sell property and I've got buyers who are looking for property just like the one you have or maybe someone you know wants to sell theirs and I'm here to help you. So you're offering a service, you're being friendly and you're building a relationship with that person even though you don't even know who they are and even though they don't know who you are, you're connecting with them. And so that's important. That's what builds relationships that last a lifetime. Very important. All right, the next thing is professional property presentation. Look, this is very important. First impressions count. They count, they matter. You want people to drive up to your home or your farm or your track of land. When they pull into the gate, they wanna see something that's the first impression matters. They want to see something that looks nice, whether it's a new gate, maybe it's a new driveway, whatever it may be. If it's a home, you want the landscaping to look good. Uh, wash down the front door, get rid of all those spider webs around the front entrance. Looks like no one's entered your house through the front door in 20 years. That's what we bring to the table. That's what a good real estate company and agent will bring to the table offer you the seller advice and help you do some things that will help your property sell. Staging, you know, less is more. Uh, we've been in houses before that people want to sell and they, it's just like my house. It's full of little knickknacks, shelves are full of stuff and they look great. And all those things are very important to the homeowner. Otherwise they wouldn't have them on the shelves. But I will tell you that less is more. When you get ready to sell your home, it's good to pack some of that stuff up. Less is more. It looks nice, presentable, but a buyer can come in and they can envision their stuff, their knickknacks on those shelves instead of yours. So it's important to, it's the little things that make a huge difference. You know, you want your property to shine. You want it to look good. Does it need some repairs? That's another thing a good agent, a good uh, real estate company will do is advise you when they come out and look at your property, you want to sell your home or sell your, your farm, you know, um, is there, are there any repairs on the house? Does the, does the roof leak? Well, you know, you might want to get that roof repaired uh, because it's only going to be a problem when you get ready to sell it and you end up not getting as much money for your property. Whereas if you get it repaired, get it fixed, it doesn't even come up in conversation. It's done, right? So those things are important. And then the last thing is a good real estate company will help you uh, have a smooth transaction process. And that's our goal is we want you to have a, a heck, we want to have a smooth transaction process. We as realtors want that. So we've done this stuff so many times that we understand the process. It's important to get the paperwork done right the first time, not the second or third time, the first time. So when you get a contract written out, have all the details, everybody understands what's going on. Seller and buyer understand there's no misunderstandings and there's no perfect world. Sometimes that still happens, but our job as realtors is to make sure that everybody understands what they're selling, and what they're buying. The attorneys, you know, what attorneys are available? What lenders are available? That can be a very confusing and frustrating process. So a good agent, a good real estate company can put you in contact with good lenders who can help you. Uh, I always advise folks to deal with a lender that they know. If you already have a relationship with a lender, you want to go through your local bank, then have at it. That's a good relationship. But if you don't, we have a list of lenders who are more than happy to help and we'll be glad to give you two or three names and let you choose who you want to work with. The same is true for surveyors and home inspectors. Same thing. You want a property surveyed, whether you're a buyer or a seller, we can put you in contact with a surveyor. They can give you an estimate of what it's going to cost so there's no surprises and you can get it done. Home inspection the same way. So, we want you to have a smooth, smooth transaction. 
All right, I want to move to the next step real quick and talk to you a little bit about our agents in our office. And I've never done this before, but I just wanted to take the time to do that today. So we have several agents, and I'm going to go through each one of them really quickly. And again, we hope that at some point, these agents will be on our podcast. The first agent is Miss Stacy Duchard. Stacy grew up right here in Lincoln County, Mississippi. Uh, Stacy is very good at what she does. Uh, she is excellent at promoting property uh, through digital marketing and social media. Uh, she's very smart, very quick-witted, does a wonderful job. If you're wanting to sell your home or track of land, Stacy can help you. Stacy Deshard. B.B. Hemfield, Bishop Berkeley Hemfield. He's also known by Bob, by his grandchildren, and among other names, I'm sure. <laughs> now, B.B. is a great guy. B.B. is one of those guys, he does not meet a stranger. I don't know how many people that man knows, but I tell you what, he knows a lot of folks. Uh, B.B. is just in the last recent years has retired from being a, um, he worked for Farm Bureau for many, many years retired from them and got his real estate license and now practices real estate. He's from Amit County, I believe, near the Gloucester area is where he, is where he grew up and knows a ton of people. And, and that's important when you're working with a real estate agent is contacts, just knows people. So if you want dozer work done, if you need, build, if you want to build a pond, you want to uh, bush hog a road, you want to, what, whatever you want, Agents like BB bring a lot to the table because they know so many people that they've met over the years in certain areas. That's the key. If it's not just Gloucester, let's say it's another county, Kabai County, Walthall County, wherever it may be, these agents can help you. And BB is a very good agent. Nona Trout. Nona and BB actually work together. They complement each other very well. Nona is originally from Brookhaven area. She went to Brookhaven High School. And Nona does a great job, um, very good agent. And like I said, she and the BB work well. They co-list properties together, complement each other very well. So Nona is very helpful as well. Keith Kavix, and you guys know Keith. Keith's the co-host of the Outdoor Addictions podcast. And once again, Keith's enjoying the beach today. We're happy for him. But Keith is a, a has a unique past in the sense that he is from Collins, Mississippi originally knows a lot of folks in that area, but he's lived here in the Brookhaven area for many, many years. He and his wife, uh, they have several children, several grandchildren. Uh, Keith uh, has worked in the uh, wood mill for many, many years. And so he's familiar with the wood business, brings a lot to the table. Uh, Keith is also a licensed drone pilot. So if you list your property with Keith, he can come out and fly his drone over your place to take excellent video, high definition video as well as photographs. Uh, Keith does a lot of drone work for the other agents in our office. I think he's the only agent in our office with a drone uh, license. And he does a really good job with that. Uh, Keith is a very good agent, very good person. I always enjoy working with him. Vicki Martin. Vicki is originally from the Memphis, Tennessee area. Uh, she and her husband, we actually met them several years ago when they bought a property here in Southwest Mississippi. They became friends of our office, and they, of course, Vicki later on became a, an, an, an agent. And she's been with us for many, many years as a real estate agent. But in recent years, her husband and she have uh, sold their place in, in Memphis, and they, they are now permanent residents right here in southwest Mississippi. They live in, near the Wesson area. Um, great family and great, just a great person. Vicki is very talented, very good agent, stays very busy and uh, pays good attention to detail, which is very important. Shannon Alford. Shannon is a relatively new agent. Uh, what she may lack in experience, she more than makes up for it in personality and uh, knows a lot of folks and is just doing a great job. We are very proud of Shannon and uh, she's doing very well. So Shannon Alford lives here in Brookhaven uh, specializes in residential as well as land. She's very, very good at selling both. Robin McDaniel. Robin is my business partner. Uh, she and I own United Country McDaniel Gray Realty. We own it together. And uh, 
I couldn't ask for a better business partner. I couldn't ask for a better person to work with. Uh, Nona has two children. She's married and had two children. She's married and has two children. Uh, they are doing very well. I know it's making uh, their family very proud with their children. And so Robin is, is, is a very good real estate agent, very smart, very experienced. Uh, we bounce ideas off each other all the time. Uh, I know if I have an issue and I need advice, I can get it from her, get solid advice. And she does a great job. Robin McDaniel, Glenn Miller. Glenn is an interesting dude. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Glenn's a great guy. Glenn is a um, uh, registered forester. And he came to us several years ago as a forester. Still is, he's active in forestry and does a great job. And what Glenn brings to the table is a lot of knowledge and experience in the timber market. And so if you're wanting to sell your property if you have good timber, or maybe you want to know, maybe you don't know what your timber is worth. Maybe you want to sell your place. Say you have a hundred, a hundred acres, just an example, and you've got 20 year old plantation pine on it, or maybe you've got some hardwood along the Creek and you, you want to know what, what my timber is worth. So you want to price it accurately so you can get the most out of your property. Well, Glenn is the agent to work with. He's very good at, arriving at an estimated value for timber. Of course, he does timber cruises. He, he does the whole gamut of, of everything to do with forestry. Glenn is a very good agent, does a great job. Walt Schimmel. Walt also worked in the timber industry for several years over to Mill in Monticello, Mississippi. Uh, he's retired from that. Walt is, is uh, originally from Georgia, but he's lived here in Mississippi for several years. He now resides uh, right here, just right outside of Brookhaven in a house that uh, he bought, he and his wife bought just a few months ago. And they're enjoying life right here in the country. And so just, uh, Walt is a great agent, very active, enjoys playing golf. And um, again, he'll, he'll help you with any type of real estate that you want to sell. Chris Exephus, uh, y'all probably remember Chris, I'm sure, actually. Chris was actually one of the co-hosts of the show. Uh, Chris is a very good agent. Um, he's relatively new, but doing a great job. And we're very proud of Chris. Chris also uh, served as a Marine. And like the old saying, once a Marine, always a Marine. But Chris is, um, we're very proud of him. He's a good guy. Just don't take him gator hunting there. He'll get the hook stuck in his hand. No, I'm kidding. Chris, we love you, man. Does a great job. And of course, my name is Bruce Gray. And just to tell you a little bit about myself, I grew up in North Mississippi, a little community called Orwood, which is right outside Taylor, which is right outside Oxford, Mississippi. So needless to say, I came from a very rural area, grew up on a dairy farm and understand what it means to uh, live that country lifestyle. My hobbies are hunting, hunting and hunting. No, I'm kidding. Pretty much that's what I enjoy doing during during my off time is if I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting or thinking about managing property or whatever the case may be. I absolutely love it. And I'm glad I'm here uh, as a real estate broker with this office. And uh, let me tell you, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do anything else right now. It's a, It's been a great fit for me and my family. I have four children all girls, even the dog and cat are girls, and um, blessed, blessed for sure. So again, that's our office. That's who we are. United Country McDaniel Gray Realty. We serve Mississippi and Louisiana. And I just want to tell you that if you're thinking about selling your property, we can help. We'll be happy to help. So our phone number is 601 754-5592. That's my cell phone, 601-754-5592. And our office number is 601-835-2000. That's 601-835-2000. If you call the office, you're going to get an agent. We always have an agent who's on call every day. It's a different agent every day, every weekend. There's always someone who has that phone. And if you call the office, an agent will answer. If they're tied up, it'll go to voicemail and they'll return your call just a few minutes later. So 
Thank you for listening. We appreciate you. If you're wanting to sell property, we're eager to help. And so until next time, stay addicted to the outdoors.